In this video, we'll see how you can bind services to the activity using the bind service APIs provided by Android. So the use case that we have taken for this exercise is to update the GPS location from the service into an activity. The activity will transmit uh, signals to the service and the service will return the GPS data. So that's all we'll be doing in this particular video. The steps involved to execute this exercise is first we'll create an activity wherein we'll define a text view along with two buttons. Next we'll go ahead and create the activity Java file that will uh, bind these buttons. Third step will be to create the service that will constantly keep polling the GPS data using location manager. Fourth step will be to create a service connection between the activity and the service. And fifth step will be to bind the buttons with the service actions, right? So let's get started. So the first step is to create the layout file that will So the first step is to create a layout file that will just have simple screen with a text view. We'll name it as GPS data and two buttons. So the two buttons will simply call it as start GPS and stop GPS. These two buttons will go ahead and start the service and stop the service. Now, as you can see, this is the main XML file that has a linear layout, uh, the vertical linear layout with the text box and two buttons. So as you can see, we have a linear layout with a text box along with two buttons. We've just given some makeover to the web text box so that it, the data looks good. Second step, as I said, let's go ahead and create an activity. So there are two ways you can create activity, either just create a Java class and define an activity, or you can create an activity using the Android Studio feature. So we'll be using the Android Studio feature. I'll go ahead and create basic activity. So we have created a main activity. So as you can see, so through the Android Studio feature, we have created a main activity that has automatically generated activity main and the content main. So we'll just go ahead and create our content in the content main. So in the content main file, we'll have a linear layout along with the text, which will have a text box and two buttons called start GPS and stop GPS. So you can view the design like this. So we are not complicating the UI because our motivation here is to understand the concepts. 